So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to use a template for a LaTeX document. Now this kind of template has served me well throughout both my first and second years of my, my degree, so you can rest assured that it's going to work pretty well for most documents. So just a quick intro before I start getting into the code of how Tech Studio, the later code that I'm using, works. On the left, you have the code. On the right, you have the output. And this compile, the single green arrow button, runs your code. If you press this button here, the external viewer button, it allows you to view the output as a PDF, and that was what you'd print to hand in your work. Right, now let's get going. So, on the left here to explain my code, that area, this, these here are packages that I've been calling. I wouldn't really change this, and I never change this in all my documents. This is just a standard set of packages that I'm using. I'll be leaving this list of packages, as well as the rest of this template, in the video description, so you can copy it into your document. Right, moving on. So, these two, these are macros, and so are these. New command defines a completely new command. So you can use it if you're having to repeatedly type out a certain long command, like this. Um, renew command, this is to change the definition of a command to what you define it to be. Right, moving on, declare math sizes. This line declares the size of your subscript, superscript, and your text. You can get it working just the way you want. You can use these numbers to control the sizes, the 7, the 6, and the 10. Right, page style, this is, this is the type of the page you're using. I've used a fancy style, which allows you to put in my header and my footer. Right, so this block's header block. So this is this A student, this is this bit on the left that I magnified. On the right that I magnified. And you would replace this with your name. And on the right here, we've got this page code, which, see here, what I've done is I've put a question number one here and a question number two here on the next page. You can see what it's done. It's done a page one of two and a page two of two. And if I make it multiple pages or if, as I'll demonstrate, if there's just one page there, then it will just be a page one of one. So it controls, it puts each page like page one of two, three, page two of three, page three of three, and so And so the footer block, this is this, yeah? This controls the footer that you, that you can see now. So this is course and assignment. This course and assignment here. And here you've got the date, and that's the date there. Right. So, just as a note, these largers that I've been using, that these blocks, you can use commands like this to control the sizes of text in late. Right, moving on. So, I've started my document now, I've begin document, always remember to end document at the bottom. Right, so you could see this is the title block. And here's the title that I'm just going to pan across here. Right, so this... This first line, this is the date you can see here on the right. This line is your name, which you'd, you'd replace a student with your name. Again here, this this line. And this third part of it is course and assignment here. Now you type in your text here. I am now, like, like a question number, example, and these vspace commands between each one, these are vertical space, they don't control horizontal space, just vertical, so you can see that this 0 0.5 PC, PC is a unit that you can use, so, you say this. so this just says that the gap between a student and course and assignment would be 0 0.5, 
PCs and the distance between the date and a student vertically would be 0 0.5 PC. And this 3 PCs, which is obviously a lot bigger, tells you, for example, if I run said code with a 1 here, I've put in, you can see that it puts it there quite a large distance away from that. Right, so there you go. That is how to create a great template for all your LaTeX documents. Thanks.